Do it. We can do it. Everybody. Oh, we are live. We are live. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah. <laughs> do do do. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Yeah. We're live with our yeah. new setup here. Try new things. Try new things, which is why we're a little late. Sorry. Yeah. It's hip to be late to parties, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's the cool thing. It's the cool thing. It's what the cool kids do. The cool kids pee the pants. <laughs> it's like uh, Billy yeah, Madison. Billy Madison. I get cool the reference. Cool kids pee the pants. Yeah, but I'm not going to pee my pants. Well, then you're not a cool kid. I'll take that. So, hi, this is Brian. I'm Landon. And for those of you who are just joining us, who have never seen us in action, tell them. Tell them who we are. Tell them what we do. Well, it's 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 a live show. Uh, it's it's all about nerd culture. Uh, we cover all topics from video games, comic books, uh, movies, entertainment. Um, like I said, it's live. We got people in the chat. Uh, we respond Yo. to people. Uh, we also get uh, phone calls. Tonight we're doing Skype, though. It's a new thing. As you can see there, you got the little Skype thing going on. Yeah, so it's it's just as fun. We just try and have a good time and have conversations. And a lot of times conversations go in completely different directions than we've ever yes. thought it would go. <laughs> and uh, we just bitch each other constantly. Pretty much. Yeah. Which is a great time. So <laughs> Good time had by all. Yeah. Bitching for the masses. But uh, before we get into this, uh, obviously uh, tomorrow is uh, ten, uh, 10 years after September 11th, so we just kind of want to do a quick salute to the troops, yes. anybody, any men and women in uniform, uh, firemen, cops, uh, and then you know, just our hearts go out to every, anybody that was that uh, was affected by September 11th. So I had a good friend who was supposed to be at the uh, World Trade Center on that day. Oh, really? And got delayed. He, he had to stay home instead. So, uh, yeah, very sad day in our history. But again, I think it's. I think I do think it's good we remember it. Yeah, it's know. hard to believe it's ten years. Ten years. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think we all can remember exactly where we were at. I guess to, to kind of uh, uh, to make things lighthearted, the day that happened, I go. We, it was a day of college for me. So I stayed up in the morning. I ate breakfast. <laughs> it was, let's start. This was a day of college for you? A day of college for me. I, I was, was going to college. I was in sixth grade. <laughs> wow. Well, that's okay. Uh, uh, yeah. In 2001, you were in sixth grade? I was in middle school. Okay. Well, anyway, I was in college, and I Maybe remember... seventh grade. I remember... Waking up in the morning, hearing about it, eating breakfast, and I went to school, and you know how everybody was, uh, you're old. <laughs> yeah, I'm old. But I remember everybody, every class you went to, we were watching on TV, everybody was talking about it. No one was no one was having classes. No. You know, because yeah. everybody's just shocked in the middle of all this. I remember going to my uh, painting class with... My teacher, whose name was Charles, who was just a douche supreme anyway. We get into class, and everybody's talking about it, you know, all day long. Oh, did you hear blah, 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 blah. He comes into class, and I swear to you, this is what he says to us. He says, now I know you guys are all talking about nine uh, about today and the Twin Towers and what's going on and all that. And he says, but BFD. Oh, wow. He says that <laughs> to us about 9-11. He says BFD, and everybody was just... Jaws were on the floor. Like, did he just say BFD to one of the worst tragedies in American history? Right. Yes, he did. And from that day on, that's when he became not just a dick, but a super dick. Right, right. A dick among dicks. Right. That's pretty rough. Yeah, that is pretty rough. So, do you want to tell them what BFD stands for? <laughs> we got one, we got Matt. BFD? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Look it up. Yeah. Alright, boys and girls, we are not a dictionary for your filthy language habits, alright? We're a clean American show. No, we're not. No? Uh, we're ma maybe American. Maybe very American. But yeah. not, certainly not. Dirty Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, again, as people can see, we have a new setup here. We do. Things are uh, changed. We've changed our casting program. We are still going through a little bit of a test here, so. Yeah. Mind you, don't. Uh, don't look at this as the final product. We're still working on it. Right. So, but what have you been up to this week, Landon? Oh, this week. Uh, well, I, I talked about the uh, I don't know the reboot of DC already. Right. I wrote a little right. article about it on uh, Substance TV, and um, at the time I had only read Justice League number one, which was really good. They didn't rush things the way that I thought that Justice League number right. one was going to rush. Um, 
But then this past week, I got uh, Detective Comics number one. Uh, I'm bigger. I'm a bigger Batman fan out of anybody in any the comics in, in DC. You're a Batman it's, dude. It's Batman. You love the Batman. But Action Comics number one came out, and I thought, hey, it's it's number one. I might as well go ahead and check it out. So I picked it up and I read it. I was very surprised of the results. Uh, uh, which one was this again? Now, uh, Action Comics number one. Okay. Well, we're we're going to talk about that in detail later. Oh, we are. Well. So save your I thoughts. That's where we were going. Well, that's where we <laughs> are going. But we haven't talked about what I'm doing. Is it all about you, Landon? Well, Does it not matter what I'm doing? Do you not care? We're we're not. We didn't prepare slides, so I didn't have anything. I thought we were skipping past that. <laughs> what we've done this week. Well, we are talking about what we've done this week. Just okay. What I've done this week. you care, Landon? Okay. Well, ah. then, off the top of my head, then uh, I just, I played Dead Island today. Oh and, yeah. And I don't know. It's thoughts. okay. I didn't, eh. Yeah, it's whatever. It's my not, thoughts too. It's not my cup of tea. I know I got a buddy of mine that that really likes it. He can. He knows that there are <laughs> flaws to it. People are trying ways to make cuss words or words so they can show up on chat. They're like, P space E space N space I space S because it says penis. Ha 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 ha. Everyone's so excited. <laughs> yeah. the they, care. they don't care about that. <laughs> no. Like, what dirty words yeah, can words. we get on the cast? Because they know that it's going to be immortalized now. It is forever. It yeah, this, yeah, that's a new feature of mortalizing here yeah. on the cast. But yeah, Dead Island. I don't know. It's they're, The menus are really convoluted and, and could use some fine tweaking. You can tell that when you play this game that it's... It's the first time that these developers have really done anything at this scale. Yeah. And it's not necessarily the worst thing in the world, but it's like just give them more time and maybe by the next game they'll be where they need to be. And it's just a situation where it's just a group of developers that tried to make a fun game. It got overhyped beyond belief. Yeah. And then way too hyped. And then it can't really live up to it. It's still cool, it's a good game, it's just that it's not a triple A title. Right. I would totally agree with you on that. I right. think it's mediocre. Unpolished. Unpolished. Yeah. For an open world game, it's very closed as far as what you can do. It's right. Not, it's not, not just a lot cause. Of, right. It's not just cause 2 where you can blow up right. anything in the world. Which so. That's the other thing that I've been playing this week. It's just a bunch of just cause. Which I need to get that. Yeah, I really so do. Fun. Like after we were playing it, it's, it's is for an open world game, it's pretty fun. Uh, me, myself, uh, celebrated my dad's 60th birthday today, which it will be this week. So, happy birthday, Dad, even though you don't watch this. Yeah. <laughs> Unsupportive fathers, yeah! No, he's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Dads road. who don't care about me, no, he, he's good, he just doesn't... You know, like, he's one of those dads that when he comes down, he's done this for the past 20 years, so come to like, so uh, what you playing there? Is that one of them in Tinders? And every time, his, his comments like, wow, look, look how good those graphics are. Super Nintendo, look how good those graphics are. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't care about any of this, but right. he pretends to. My dad, on the other hand, like I think he plays his PlayStation Three more than I do. Really? Like he is, but it's only Gran Turismo Five. Oh, that's it. Just Gran Turismo Five. Gran Turismo Five, twenty four seven. I come home, no matter what, when I turn it on, it's like, oh, there he is. He's on there. He's on Gran. And it's Gran Turismo Five. And he gives you the smackdown. Yeah, he's yeah. I mean, he's obsessed with that damn game. So phenomenal. Phenomenal. Uh, and then the other thing, I just watched my first episode of Breaking Bad. How's that? That's a great... Better than Mad Men? Well, here's what I'll say. Dexter and Mad Men, I really love. And I got it too. But Breaking Bad's first pilot episode got me hooked just like that. Its first episode is well-paced. You would think it'd be really slow, but it, the first episode gets you into everything going on. You watch that first episode, you're right in the thick of it. You know exactly what's going on, and then it starts in the second episode... Right. I really, really enjoy it. It's, it's different than your typical reality show BS or, you know, the same old, same old. And that's why I like Dexter, Mad Men, and now Breaking Bad. So I've got three shows I have to simultaneously catch up on. So how, all how, thanks to Netflix. How far in are you on Breaking Bad? Well, Breaking Bad's the first. Uh, first pilot episode. That's all I've got to do. Okay. I literally watched it today. Mad Men, second season, episode two, I just finished watching. Yeah. But you've got some... Dexter, season four... Right in the middle of it, I don't know where. Yeah, but I also. Hey, Dirk's on here. Holy <laughs> crap, Dirk! Is, I know this yeah, guy. He's, 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 he's the friend I was playing. I was playing uh, Dead Rising, uh, or not Dead Rising, but uh, uh, Dead Island with. And yeah, there is a really stupid. I don't know if you saw this, but if, it says on the back of it, System Link that you can do System Link. Right? In Dead Island. Yeah. In Dead okay. Island. To me, when you say System Link, does System Link require internet? No, you're linking up systems. 
Dead Island requires internet. It requires internet to locally yeah. seek two systems. So there is no system link, <laughs> essentially. How is that? That is completely idiotic. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I should watch Walking Dead. Well, you know, I'll have yeah, to. Yeah, Walking Dead is amazing. See, and that's yeah. another. There's so many series i got to catch up with, but I really enjoyed it a lot. So, Anywho, but to piggyback off of your last comment on what you were doing this week. Right. That you were so sad by, you're going to get it. Yeah. We're going to talk here a little bit about... Well, because we don't have all the... Action Comic movies. 1 reboot. Superman characters crisis. Okay. Now... Tell us all about it. Let's, let's preface this. Okay. Uh, like I said earlier, DC Reboot started up uh, last week. on the 31st. Yeah. Uh, and so, at, at first it was Justice League. Now you've got Action Comics, Detective Comics. A, a few other titles have been released. Um, I picked up Action Comics, which is Superman. And um, I don't know. I was, I was a little surprised by some of the results when I was reading it. Um, just based on Superman's kind of character. It, it just right. it, it didn't... The way they introduced him, the way they talked about him, wasn't how I imagined Superman. And like I said, I'm, I'm not the biggest Superman fan. I'm much more of a, a Batman fan. So I don't know everything about Superman. I can't break it down and say, oh, they went wrong here. Like, he didn't work here. He did this. You know, I can't tell you all that. I can tell you how I expect Superman to act and how I don't expect Superman to act. Do you kind of want to preface how you imagine Superman? Well, I mean, for me, and you and I had a little conversation, Superman is the classic Boy Scout. He is the ultimate superhero, the ultimate good guy. If you say superhero, I would say Superman would be the first right. the first go-to definition. He's a good guy. He He's doesn't big... take the easy route. He always, you know, even in a lot of the comics they talk about how he's hold back his he, he holds back his power. He doesn't want to destroy anything. He doesn't want to hurt people. Right. He's like a gentle di- giant. He, he really tries to do the right thing. Right. Well, that's pretty much how I imagine him. Right. I imagine him as the big blue Boy Scout. He was raised by a good American uh, Kansas family and taught good values and, and, you know, how to do good, you know, you know, all that, all that stuff. So, you open up the issue and you start checking it out and you see on one of the opening panels, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but that is Superman holding up <laughs> just a regular dude <laughs> above a building and the guy is yelling, save me. And that's not it. Superman is trying to get this guy to basically, I don't know, confess to whatever he did. Then he takes him, jumps off the building, and land, crash lands on the ground, holding the guy. So he doesn't get hurt. He, he's not physically harmed, but he's scared shitless. Right. And it's just shaking beyond belief. And then finally says, okay, I will confess. That is an attitude that I would see out of Batman. That's a Batman. That idea. is a Batman move. Freaking Dangle somebody out. over a building, yelling, like, you know, confess to what you did. Here we've got Superman doing that. It doesn't help that he's constantly got his eyes with the the red, the glowing, glowing red, evil yeah. like. Well, then and then he jumps off of the building with the guy in his arms, falls to the ground, yeah. freaks the guy out, makes him piss himself, yeah. and then goes, "Well, okay." Yeah. That, that, that it's like but that see, does not fit. I know they're trying to reboot that, but that does not feel like that's not where it is. The character that's right. not where it ends. It keeps oh, going on bad. more. It's like. Do you imagine Superman being cocky? No. No. Superman runs into police, stares at him right in the eye, and says, um, I know what you're thinking. Is it real? Or something to that effect. Right. He says, take your best shot. And one of the police officers shoots at him. He catches the bullet with his hand, stops it, gives a smirk, and then starts running away, and the police chase after him. Like, when has Superman ever been cocky? And it's like, I understand reinventing certain characters, you know, changing their look, changing certain things, bringing them into the 21st century, um, but some of these changes just boggle me. And it's like, later on in this issue, too, you also hear of him talking with um, his, uh, him, him as Clark Kent, right. the, the landlady of where he's staying at, and she's telling him a story uh, of what he had done as Superman, where he essentially threw a guy out of a window of a building uh, across a farm or a field or something to that effect, basically breaking the guy's like ribs and an arm, and it's just like he's not the big blue Boy Scout anymore. He's not right doing good constantly and being you know what you imagine Superman is. He's 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 he's, he's being Batman. He's the big, <laughs> he's the big blue dick, as J.K. Yeah. Spencer would say. I, yeah, that's what I don't get. That I know they're trying to reinvent. They're trying to reimagine the series, but I would hope there would be core characteristics yeah. of each of these characters 
<coughs> but now, here's the only thing I can think about this, because I know that in this, when they're rebooting it, both of his adoptive American uh, human parents right. are no longer alive. Um, it, previous, that? previously, before it was, it, you know, eventually his his adoptive father died, and uh, Martha Kent, his his adoptive mother, lived, and and they basically, as he was growing up, taught him the moral values so that he didn't have to go through these these situations where he is torn between, you know, getting people to do the things that Batman would do, and him trying to figure out who he is. In this situation, apparently, both of his parents are dead. So the only thing I can think is that he's doing, he's going through these stages, in order to get to where he eventually so you think will be. He will. It'll take some time, and he will then become the person. I think that, that we know once has. he dons the full suit, because like I said, here he's just in jeans and a t-shirt and a small cape. So he's not in his full Superman outfit. He is going by the name, but he's not in the full Superman outfit. So I think that um, once they once he gets to that point, right. he will probably be what you expect him to be, and he just needs to get to that point. And I think it's just because both of his parents are dead, and they want to make it more of an internal conflict than Superman ever really had before. You know. See, yeah, that's where. I mean, I understand that, but personally, like we've talked about, I would rather Superman have some of those. Like an inner struggle, even even if he is a dick. Let me see an inner struggle where, like, oh gosh, I'm I'm a dick, but part of me regrets making those decisions. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it from what I've read. I think they should have at least tried to bring in a little bit of the classic uh, Superman mentality, but we'll see where this goes. Yeah, I'm sure it'll end fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. I'm not too concerned about that. I was just surprised by these moves. Um, I think next week or the week after, Superman number one uh, debuts. So we'll see where they take it, what they do. Okay. And uh, I'll just keep updating everybody, I guess. Okay. Well, uh, and now, kind of move on to our main topic of the evening that we've been talking to people about, which is uh, sports game stagnation. Uh, what is the future of the sports genre? We talked about it and hinted a little bit. Uh, pretty much what we're talking about is what Landon and I were uh, hashing out before was sports games, really, when I think of the sports game genre, it's Madden, it's NBA Live, it's MLB The Show, it's the sports simulations. Those are primarily the big games. When you reserve a sports title, it's usually going to be Madden. And we look back just at games we remember growing up with. Right. NBA Jam. Yeah. Uh, Mutant League Series. Mutant League Series, Super Baseball 2020, Baseball Stars 2 on the Neo Geo, Super Sidekicks. We could go on and on. All the Mario titles. All, yeah, well, the, yeah, Mario Tennis. I like even the GameCube ones are great because those are de- developed by Camelot. But we've lost a little bit, I think, of what made the sports genre so diverse and interesting. I mean, when you compare the sports genre to the RPG genre, do you feel that there's, comparatively to the wide array of RPG games, a lack of variety in the sports genre? Well, I think that's that's a, a bit of a different question because in, in the statement of RPGs, it's so convoluted that really, so are you talking about true RPGs or are you talking about games that incorporate RPG elements? Because a lot of people will say, okay, that's the, it plays I'm like a shooter, but it incorporates enough RPG elements. Let's just talk about... Let's just talk so, about uh, uh, Classic RPG. What you what the general public would consider a true RPG. Okay, just RPG RPGs. Right. Or and I, you may be able to go into that, but I would say that even given without going into games that aren't exactly RPGs, going into games that are just classic, there's much more variety even in the classic RPGs than in the sports genre. Hey, cool guy, what's up? Oh, Nintendo Wii U. Nice, wonderful fellow I met yesterday while gaming here. Doing all right. Got back from IGDA meeting. Wow. Well, fancy pants. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I read it like I knew what I was Why do you got to ruin that? I don't know. Just let me pretend like I know what I'm talking about. I came back from VLBD. I came back from the BLT. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. But, let's, let's see. see if it here. sounds important, then it must be important. Yeah, Don Cario was saying, I think the definition of RPG has been watered down over the years, which we talked about right, certainly. last week. That's why I just felt like that was a weird Well, let's just, even, let's just say compared to any other genre out there, I will say sports genre is one of the least diverse, most stagnant genres out there. That it really has just stayed the same for, I would say, the past 
five, ten years. But if you look at the sports sims, you know, that are based on, like, the, the, the actual sport doesn't change. It doesn't need to change. It's the sport. So the games can't really reinvent themselves. You know what I mean? In that sense. Yeah. What I can say is that I see a lack of arcade sports titles anymore. That's what I can say out of this. Yeah, yeah. Is that there is it's dwindled. Sure, we've seen recently uh, they redid NBA Jam. Um, there was a Blood Bowl game that, right. that was out a while ago on the on the 360. Um, on the PS2, there was a bunch of FIFA Streets. Uh, I think the NBA, 360, NBA Streets. 360 had stuff. a few of those. Yeah, 360 um, had some. So it's it's just a little bit of a lack of that. But I mean, with with the traditional sports sims, the Maddens, the NBAs. I mean, every year they do have something new in it because they have to have something to advertise. But for. see, really, what I feel is bad, the innovations or the new game features they bring aren't really all that great every year. I mean, we're not talking about a game that I feel deserves a new $60 title. It could be easily released as just a roster update, you know. They could. They could say, hey, pay $10 for a roster update. Well, but what's, they what's, won't do that. They're well, going to pay $60 and go... We added a dynasty mode where you can change their shoelace colors. Well, I believe uh, they, they do have in games. Oh, we got a call from those oh. guys in the overshirts. Headphone extension. That's that's really Maybe. answer. Here we go. Here we go. You guys there? You there? Hello. Hello. They're not there. I thought they was. Hold on. Let's see here. Come on. Hey, there you guys are. Come on! Stop screwing with us, man! <laughs> this is very professional. <laughs> this is professional. We run a tight ship here, and I don't... Not, I'll be damned if I let you mess it up. Well, you're making him stutter. I'm going to stutter. Well, well, uh, I know your voice sounds so silky. I just want to touch your voice. Right. Set to advertise. But, you know, games like, like Mario Super Strikers, like, they make that game fun, and it's kind of worth the full price. But, you know, sports games like Madden, just like, they just keep on making, like, the same old game with just, like, one little new thing in it. And I think that's not good for the genre at all. Well, and it's. Do you, what do you think the reasoning for that is? I would say it's because there's no. Competition. There's nothing for them to go up against. There's no other yeah. official NFL title to because because they know they have their sports fans and so and sports fans want their team and want it to be updated and keep on updated because you know new players and stuff. So that's like a big thing, and that gets them because the sports fans want that game. I mean, there's a lot of sports fans. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Madden, Madden has uh, exclusive license with the NFL. Yeah. Right. And NFL 2K for a while was doing really well. I remember on Xbox and PS2, everybody loving the innovations NBA or NFL 2K, 1, 2, whatever had. And then Madden said, whoa, competition? Ah, screw you. We're buying it up. Yeah. yeah, they can just, you know, go video game happy and just keep on keep on selling new games with just one little thing new. And it's, I just think they need to, like, you know, slow down a bit and... You know, actually, like make a make a new game, or well, reinvent things. Really, instead of just yeah. adding a, essentially what comes to a roster update with a BS extra included. Yeah, it's. But like, a one time I saw a commercial for like Madden, and it looked like it had like a new graphic thing going on. So I yeah. thought it was actually something new, but it turns out it wasn't. It <laughs> wasn't. It was something stupid and not new. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for picking up the call. Uh, it says on the chat that I may be a little low. I think we turned you up. We got it up. Hey, Mr. Ruckus is here too. Look at that. But uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, see you, I guess. No problem, guys. See you later. Thanks for calling. All right. Good luck on the skypes. Thank. You. Good luck on the skypes. Yeah. By the way, those guys in the other shirts, wonderful people. Hello, Mr. Eddie Ruckus. We just got to give the shout outs to the people. All right. So now I got a question though. You're, you're saying multiple times we just need the innovation. What innovation? You want. I'm saying they need to what bring out. Uh, Do you want a zombie level in your no. cells? <laughs> is that what you want? Uh, uh, get it past the zombie. I want. I don't mind, man. But bring us something different 
than the same crap every year. Which is what? Which is we just get the same core game with a new roster update. What can you change about a sports sim? Well, what I'm saying, either offer it as like a ten dollar download. You know, don't don't charge people sixty bucks for this crap. That's a lot of money. But the problem is people are going to buy it. People are going to buy it anyway. So, <laughs> But I think it's a, uh, also, my other issue is, like I talked about, with EA buying the exclusive rights to have the NFL franchise. That's that's, that's what, a monopoly. That's They're, what my argument would have, was going to well, be. Is just they put a monopoly on it, so there's no competition whatsoever. And I think that is what kills innovation. How well, do you not become innovative? Put a monopoly on it. Put the same crap every year, and you but don't really compete. The, the main difference between when you had the two K series and the and the Madden's was just controls. What did one provide that the well, other didn't provide? Well, when I played the two K series, and they were talking a lot of comparisons, uh, gameplay was better. There was better graphics. The right, two K games were deeper. What I'm saying is, two K was offering a better experience than Madden. Right. And instead of Madden saying, "Let's use this," but a majority of our games. They were losing sales because of the 2K series. The 2K series were very well reviewed, very well received by fans. So the experience of the 2K games was beating out. Now, we're getting a statement here from Rush Dog. Brian, do you play a lot of sports games? A lot of them offer more features beyond a roster update. And yes, every year there are new updates. But I, I will admit now, I am not. I, I don't own. The only bad game I own is an Xbox game that my sister-in-law gave me to try to sell and I never sold it. I mean... I will admit I don't play them every year, so I'm not an expert on this. But from what I can see, what's offered, I don't feel it's worth sixty dollars for but see, me. A lot, I personally, see, I see that as a situation where you and I both are not sports game fanatics, and so we don't see a lot of the depth and a lot of the small tweaks that are made from year to year that do actually physically improve the game that we just don't see, and we see it at face value of. Well, it's a sports title, and I see the same sports situation going on, and I don't see the innovation. I don't really see what can be truly hardcore, big, innovative beyond just a way that it could play a little differently, look a little better, and a few changes being made. And I think that comes to just having two different franchises making those two different games, and then you can pick between. It's the same way with the baseball games. You got the MLB, the show series, and then right. you got the other baseball series. Like I can't. What's the other baseball series? Uh, there's MLB, and then there's. Uh yeah, I don't one. know the other one. That but one. I know when I worked at GameStop, we'd always have people that come in when they'd come out. And they're like, oh, well, I don't play that other one. I play this one because it's got better, you know, this plays the way that I want it to play. And other people like the way the other games play. And I think that's the biggest way that you can have that competition. And, and it's just, it's going to come down to gameplay. In a sports style, it's going right. to come down to It's going to come down to gameplay. And I guess it's like a fighting game. Maybe a good example would be the King of Fighters games. Back in the day when King of Fighters 94 came out, there was King of Fighters 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, all the way to 03. And each year, although maybe to a normal average gamer they wouldn't see differences, there were huge differences in the roster, in the moves, in the backgrounds. I mean, I felt every year it was a, a huge difference from what they offered in each game. Right. Well, so maybe I just don't have the, uh, the, the same appreciation well, for sports games that I would have fighting. Right. Well, it's little tweaks like, like uh, balancing right. that is a right. huge thing for fighting games, which I'm sure they do a lot of balancing from year to year with sports styles. And a lot of that I just can't say definitively because it's not my cup of tea. It's not the games that I play. Well, that's why I would like to see, like we talked about, and we've got here video footage right now, uh, of course, of Mutant League Football. Great game. Love that back in the day. It's innovation within the standard. I mean, I know this is a football game, right? But here we put a new twist on it. It's these monsters fighting against one another. Uh -oh. Can we step back a minute? What? When I said, what kind of innovation do you want in your Madden game? And I jokingly said, do you want zombies? <laughs> they're not zombies, they're monsters! <laughs> it's the they're monsters, they're mutants! <laughs> they're not zombies, they're saying, mutants. I'm just saying. They're mutants. Just put it out there. Put are, it out you, there. The, are mutants and zombies the same? Mutants no, and zombies I'm not saying, are the same. I'm not saying that, but the, it's, it's a similar oh, concept. Oh, no, 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 it is not a similar concept. Not, not in the least. Okay. I think there are a bunch of mutants out there that like, hey, yeah. I'm, I'm not sorry. a zombie. I'm sorry, Magneto. Because see, mutants have feelings. They have a brain. Zombies are just mindless, you know, wandering carcasses. Yeah. Great. All of our mutant viewers are now not watching. <laughs> you just pissed them off. <laughs> I'm not saying that they were zombies. I'm just saying it's pretty fucking similar. No, it's not. You're saying mutants are very similar to no, zombies? No, it's just... Are you saying mutants are zombies? 
Oh, you, 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 okay. you bigot. You. No, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Anyways, but uh, but no, like these play arcade arcadey though in the gameplay how you, you play it. Right, um, right. So arcade-y, beyond, sure. beyond the, the visuals of it, what I'd like to see is, the reason why I like the 2K series, because me it kind of played a little bit more like more an arcade, arcade right, series right. Than, than Madden would have played, and that's why I got into the 2K series. But then. Well, that's why I think, because I make the RPG comparison, because we have tactical RPGs, classic RPGs, JRPGs, uh, simulation RPGs. There's so many different RPG styles that I think right now in sports games... It's very much simulation sports. That right. and all it's a very right. now there's a few the streets and all that, but there's not the wide array of no, different types of sports games. And that's what they need to bring in. EA yeah. needs to say, put Madden out every year. Fine. You want to pay sixty dollars for it, whatever, I don't care. But give me something else. Right. Something different. I want the arcade bag. Right. I want the arcade Blitz. games. Blitz, oh god, yeah. Give me NFL Blitz, although a clean is yeah, the, down the toilet, so yeah. I don't know who has that, but uh, it's got Picard in the call's picture, yeah. that's right, that's yeah. <laughs> that's all thanks to Land, and that yeah. was pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty fun. I mean, when you can put Captain Picard in data with yeah. the phone, Captain John Luke Picard of the USS Enterprise. We should, we should, we should drink Earl Grey oh, on our next we got, we got a call, <laughs> we got a call coming in on the Boomsy Skype line here. It better Hello. be about Picard. I can hear you. Can you hear us? J.K. Spencer, hello, sir. The wonderful, probably our most thorough commentator on Blistered Thumbs. Like, he, yeah, no, we like every time we're done with Blistered Thumbs, we're like, what, 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 what he says? Let's see what J.K. Spencer says because he like he just yeah. gets deep on this stuff. This is the point where other other commenters are like, wow, that those are some big yeah, characters. Like, <laughs> I I do not have balls that big. You win, sir. So turn the volume up. Say. Turn, turn the volume up. Can't hear again. Okay, I'll, I'll get it up. We'll get it up, yo. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, yes, what uh, what did you have to say? Yeah. Like as a training kind of thing to Right, because that's what I think is is terrible. They're really they haven't done anything to put true competition and innovation to the forefront. Yeah, and they didn't... Uh, well, another game that I don't think did good that I loved was uh, Facebreaker. Absolutely loved Facebreaker. You ever saw Facebreaker, that EA game? No, I... Oh, very, very good game. Very good boxing game, I'd say. Fail with the sound. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I, we're trying. This is testing. Don't test JK. JK, we, st- you're still awesome. Oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> I'm not really reading the chat. I'm trying to focus on everything else. There you go. There you go. Focus, man. Thank you. <laughs> As we're not focusing. I got my volume turned up all the way. Well, I think I don't know why it's it's not uh, going any higher. Oh, can hear it. Can hear it slightly. Turn it up all the way. Turn it up. Just crank it, blast it, blare it. Let's turn it to 11. (laughs) I'm going to turn it to 11. There we go. Okay. All right, let's see if this works. Whoa. Can you hear me now? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it's really loud. You might want to pull your headphone out. It's It's really loud loud for us, but we'll see if anybody else can hear you. I think turning... Oh, maybe I need to turn X. See, guys, we're still like... Literally, Uh, we're still trying to learn all this crap. So Brian is slow. (laughs) Shut up! I'm still learning all of this stuff, so you've been nice to me. 
turn up the X split, yo. Now. Can you hear me now? Turn my mic up. Can you hear me now, yo? <laughs> turn Let's my mic up. See if it up. works. I think I think it'll work. Keep talking. I don't know how it's going on on. Um, oh, better, better than before. Know. Better, better, better. Okay. Because I have it on mute, so. I'm That's gonna... good. You need to have it on. Boom! Yeah, you're it good. works. There you go. Cool, man. Turn it up, explode. That's what did it. See, look at our viewers helping us out. Well, and thanks for you know sticking on the phone too. Hey, turn hey, this. No <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> JK, you're yeah. awesome. Helping it. I promised I'd try to call at least once. Well, you did. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you calling us up. Cause with I just wish everyone heard what I said like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> well, <laughs> then uh, we'll, we'll pretty much say that you were talking about Madden and EA needs to stop screwing with the NFL franchise. Give it up, man. Bring us competition. Because I would say it's like a, it's like any football game. You know, any game. You think you're mad enough? You think your stuff's good enough? Then uh, open yourself up for some competition. Bring it! I kind of like how the uh, soccer games are getting popular in the last couple of years. <laughs> Such as? Uh, well, all I can think of is like uh, the that EA FIFA game. Right. right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So normally, normally anything that isn't freaking football or basketball doesn't get doesn't get any kind of screen time on TV let alone a decent game trailer or something but uh, there's been a lot of hype going on between uh, soccer and football so that's kind of cool yeah well it seems like anytime the World Cup is on I'm just like I have to play every soccer game there <laughs> is <laughs> well winning 11 is the big series winning 11 is uh, yeah. the real big uh, series from Konami that when I think of soccer games I think of winning 11 myself I think most people think FIFA, but FIFA, whatever, whatever. Who cares? Well, hey, thanks for calling up, man. Yeah, thanks, and thanks for your comments. No problem. Yeah, you kick ass. You do. All your right. comments are awesome. We'll All talk right. to you later. Cool. See ya. Bye. All right. That went well. That went very well, I think. Um, now our, is our music like blaring? I, I think, think our music it might be blaring. Like, I don't know. Everyone might have to. Turn down their volume here. If it's too loud, you just let us know. Well, maybe they can't hear us, though. Can they, they hear know. us? Music's that fine. Sound is good. Is no, it isn't. Nope. No, no music. music. No music. No music. No. <laughs> oh, my God. So much. But when they've got music, is good. Some people say music. No, you're okay. good. We can hear you. It's can faint, you? but... Okay, we can oh whoop we'll, headphones just keep There we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Anyway, moving on from our technicalities right. here. <laughs> Zombie League football. Right? Zombie League football! <laughs> Zombie League football, yeah, whatever man. It's I can think of you. one person that would play it. Yeah, but not of you? Because they would find that offensive. Yeah. <laughs> They'd find that offensive that they would even be compared to a mutant. Well, I just think that if we look at sports games as we do the other genres, and not so much focus on one franchise, Madden, and, and let's move beyond some other sports. Croquet. Well, so now, how do you. Bad fit. Well, so how do you feel about. Because some, some people will consider, like, the SSX series a sports title. Oh, music got louder. Music is fine. Best show ever! Even with the technicalities? Thank you, guys. We're still ironing out the kinks. But, uh, what were you saying, sir? I'm sorry. I was saying, I, I, what do you consider... Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a Billy Madison. Uh, Too many Adam Sandler references in the one show. How about how about people? Okay. SSX. I'm, I'm crazy. crazy. Water bottle hand guy. Now give us some candy. I'm crazy water bottle hand guy. Now give us some candy. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to get that out. I love that. Oh, we got a call. John C. Henson. Okay, let's let's try this out. Hold on. Let me adjust you here. Because I know they're not going to be able to hear you. Wait. Boom. All right. Now we can get you. What's going on, buddy? Yes. Huh? 
I said, what's going on? Oh, nothing much, man, nothing much. Just college stuff. College stuff? Yeah. Balling it up. What do you, what do you major in college? Uh, mass communications. Wow. So, like, marketing and just mass communications? Uh, I'm, my, my focus is more on film. Oh, I see. <laughs> I just imagine like mass communications. You're like one of those dickwads who sent out mass <laughs> spam emails to everybody. Like that's mass communication. Look, fifty percent off your next penis enlargement to a billion people. Mass communication. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Because I'm sure those people go to college for that. They do. They do. Third time's the charm for boomsies. Okay. So, what's your thoughts on the sports game jive BS? Um. Personally, I'm not a big fan of the sports genre, but I, I did, grown up, I played SSX3, and that was like one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, yeah. I w- and I would definitely consider that a sports game. Oh, yeah. Well, now, what do you think of the new SSX that they're coming out with? Have you seen any footage on it? Uh, I've seen a bit of stuff. It looks pretty neat, um, but I haven't played any of like, the like newer ones after 3. Okay. So, I really, my opinion on it, I wouldn't consider it strong. I might go as far as say it might be good, but now I just I just remember on SSX three like the music from that game. That <laughs> was just it was. I don't remember SSX. I was more of a uh, of a, what's the, the Avalanche? Okay, on <laughs> Nintendo GameCube, yo. Nintendo Snowball. Well, you missed out. I'll just say that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I missed out on SSX. Oh, you missed out, man. You definitely missed out. It always it's, it just felt like it should have an E, an e, an e in it, because it would be like, sex. <laughs> Play <laughs> sex! It'd probably, it'd probably sell better. But. It probably would. <laughs> like BMX Triple X? Yeah, no, that was <laughs> that was a game. That's a sports game. That's one another. We need more boobs. <laughs> yeah. Is that the solution, right? Yeah, football with boobs. Football with boobs, and I will be happy. Yeah, I think that'll work. Wow. And by the boobs. By the boobs. We <laughs> yeah. just solved our problem. I think so. Why didn't we just go to the yeah. core thing that always makes us happy to solve? Boobs. Yeah. Let's uh, just make it a wave race with boobs. Every sports game, anything, boobs. Boobs. I like it. Okay. Why stop at sports? Just yeah, why stop at sports? <laughs> wow. We have, we have just really stumbled upon a gold mine of <laughs> yeah. gaming innovation. What's more innovative than boobs? Nothing. I don't know. The uh oh, well, the the third boob, <laughs> the third boob, <laughs> yeah, the, the tri boob from the tri boob. Uh, uh, what was what was that movie? Arnold Schwarzenegger with the three boob lady. Oh, uh, Total Recall. Yeah, there we go. Total Recall, man. Total Recall. Well, it's like I was talking with my wife the other day, and don't ask me how we got into this, okay? But we were just talking about, you know, she's like, "Why do guys find girl on girl, you know, girls kissing so hot?" You know, and I'm like, "Just it is." And I said, but you know what's better than two? I said, here's a simple mathematical equation. That if anybody asks you, here's the, the answer. I said, what's better than two chicks making out? She's like, what? I said, three chicks making out. I said, what's oh better than three chicks making out? She's like, four chicks making yeah, out? Yeah, four chicks making out. So I said, if you ever have anybody ask you that question, the answer is to add one and then say girls making out. And then it will always be better. We just solved every problem in the wow. whole world. I just, I don't know, I think Boomsies is done, really. Yeah. We've done our job. We could just rename it. Rename Boomsies, too. too. Boobsies. Boomsies. To Boomsies. <laughs> yeah. Our true calling. <laughs> all boobs all the time. Well, thank you, yeah, sir, for, for, your, for your revelation. I really feel uh, we've come somewhere, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have yourself a good night, sir. Uh, you guys, too. All right, talk to you later. See? Look at us. We are solving the world's problems. Solving the world's problems. No problem whatsoever, man. There's no problem too big for us here at Boomsy. <laughs> what a titillating call. What a titillating <laughs> call. <That's funny. laughs> well, besides the obvious solution of boobs, give us more difference and we'll be happy. Give us different things. Yeah, just yeah, variety. Yeah. Variety is the spice of life. And sports games should learn that as well. I think so. Okay. So why don't we talk about uh, next week's yeah. topic, uh, which we're talking about. Sorry. 
We're talking about... Sorry, H- you just distracted me. Go ahead. H- H- HD remakes. There's There's been a lot of HD remakes for the PlayStation 3 already. There's going to be even more uh, late well, this month. Eco and yeah. Shadow of Colossus. On the 27th this month, Eco and Shadow of Colossus will be remastered, which look gorgeous. I'm amazed at how well they look, and um, I cannot wait to play them again. He's being a little jackass about this. So, he doesn't like Ico and Shadow Colossus. He is a very... Shadow Colossus, poor, Shadow Colossus poor human is game. a... I'd say a bad game. It is not I'd a bad game. I'd say it's a bad game. It is not a bad game. It's a boring... It is It is not a boring game. Glitchy. It is not a glitchy game. Poor draw distance. It is not. Poor control. It is a great game. Great music. No. Great ambience. It's, 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 it's amazing. A game that was... Programmed, piss poor for the PlayStation 2. Too big for its britches. Suck on that. For for once in Boomsy's history, <laughs> he is the outcast. Hey, fine. How could you hate those games? Because the gameplay, man. The gameplay is not there. Here's what you do in Shadow Colossus. Sword. Woo-woo. Dude, it is amazing to take down those big giant colossi. It is so and much then, fun. And then things are coming in. They're like, click, oh, draw distance. Click, oh, draw. I'm I, I playing Daytona USA on the Saturn, but worse. No. It's and then, hey, taking down the bosses is fun, I guess. But, of course, it's like, climb on this bad guy. Frame, 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 frame. Climb, 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 climb. Because somebody at the Shadow of Colossus team said, let's make this great game, we have high ambitions, but let's not optimize it for a PlayStation 2, let's optimize it for a PlayStation 3. Use the technology you're you just, have at making that. That's why Metal Gear Solid 3 is a good looking game that runs good on a PlayStation 2. Bam. Well, I'm not going to sit here and argue against Metal Gear Solid 3, because clearly that's the, arguably the best Metal Gear Solid. But I, and that's why I think, like I said, I like the look, ambience and shadow process. Right. Well, look, this is a topic for another time. We shall lay down the gauntlet of battle right now. But uh, yes, so that'll be next week. We're we're talking about those HD remakes. The Resident Evil Four is right. uh, HD remakes and continue. Right. So are they are they worth worth the money? Is it just cash ins? Is there value to these games? We're just going to kind of talk about them. Continue this shit. I'm sure we'll be like. <laughs> I'm sure more than half of it will oh, be yeah. overshadowed of the oh, classes. Yeah. It will be. It will be. So, so join us next week for that. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some of these glitches. A lot of this stuff will be worked out. Yeah. But do you guys like this new setup compared to the old one? I mean, I like it. Do you like what we're doing here? Because I think we've and now we'll actually be able to do live gameplay if we ever need to. Certainly. Yeah. Which is the cool thing. We can actually play games on the cast. Yep. Uh, we don't have any sound on the, the games right now because we have the background music, but in future, we will have sound. We'll get it worked out. We'll get it worked out. So. You do. New setup is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Reminds me of uh, Crocodile Hunter. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Look at that. It's so beautiful. So, thank you all for watching. Yeah, thanks. We appreciate yep. it. And, uh, also, oh crap! Check to see who won the uh, the Batman contest. Ooh. By the way, while he's checking this, I want to let everybody in Boonsy's land know: Landon is a cheating I bastard. I'm not. I'm not. The the way that that poll was set up for the Batman because we had a poll for those of you who don't know. This is all to wrong. vote to vote for what Batman costume my son will wear, either Brave of the Bull or animated series. Landon told me he voted four times because it logs your IP address. So we voted on his computer at home, his iPhone, your computer at work, and where else did you vote? Uh, where my, else did my you girlfriend's vote? Computer. Your girlfriend's computer. You cheating douchebag. No. So what's the vote up? What's it say? It's it's nine to eight, Brave and the Bold. So But how many times did you vote on Brave So it and would the Bold? so if if take taking that into account, then it would have been six to eight. Animated series. So, animated series. Go out and An- get it. Animated series look, would win. The animated series one doesn't look good, man. Like, I I get animated series is cool, but dude, seriously, that uh, costume is flawed. Thank As you, Crockett. Be standpoint. back for more of this. And of course, if you're new to this, please follow us so you can be updated when we do this craziness. Uh, we are starting to do, just I'll do random casts throughout the week, just playing games. Pretty much testing, but also doing random stuff too, so... I will go with Brave and the Bold, okay? Brave and the Bold wins because I 
I do like that better, even it, though it was yeah. I mean, look, cheated the way that it sits on the neck. You know, it looks so much more comfortable. It looks more natural. <laughs> like the way the cowl works. I like, but I like you very similar. It's much more comfortable on the neck. And if you notice the orthopedic roundabout shoulder pads that no. thrust the blades upon the move. You now just, look, I'm not. I'm not sitting here arguing. Um, this isn't a discussion about is the animated series cartoon no, better no, than the Breaking right, the Blade right, cartoon? Because right, I'm I know. sure as hell not going. Well, I know some people on the chat. Right, animated series the best, but this costume, the Brave of the Bold, does look better. So I will honor the boat. You made the effort to be a cheater. Yeah. So you know, fine. Wait, fine. you at you know, really? The right answer is a Robin costume. That's the right answer. No, I'm I am no. going to be like Joker or something. I don't know. No, your kid costume. Why would he be Robin? Because that's better. <laughs> Robin's better than Batman. I I prefer Robin. You like. The younger boys, <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> you were so sick. <laughs> you said it. You like, you're like I like Robin better. And then your voice, you're like, oh, I like. And the way you rubbed your chest, you're like, I like oh, Robin, I like it so much better. I just, well, how am I, I supposed, supposed to you to know that, that you're literally on camera right now rubbing your tits? Oh, and rubbing that. my man. That's what you were like. But how else am I supposed to take that besides arousal at the sight of Robin? But what? <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> Tune in next week. We'll have uh, more of this insanity. And uh, we'll see you then. So for Brian and Landon, we'll see you all next week. <laughs>